Good morning. Welcome to First Local Mornings for Thursday, December the 3rd. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. We are three weeks away from Christmas Eve, the last day to get your shopping in nice. before you get to open your gifts on the next day, Christmas yes. morning. Very nice. Uh, thank you very much to Casey's Security for your sponsorship and also to the Festival of Trees. Their raffle is still going on. Make sure you check out festivalraffle.ca for that. And also Ghoulie Fire's 50-50 draw. Alrighty, there we go. Got the sponsors out of the way. How's it going? <laughs> Kids care about those sponsors. Yeah. Get them out of the yeah. way. Get them out of the way. You gotta get like twenty, yeah. so that way it takes like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That's all our time to talk. Yeah. Good Pretty morning. Much. Yes. <laughs> it is uh, Baby Friday, Thursday, December third, as you said, Christopher. Yes. And it's also my soul sister Shelley's birthday, so I'm wishing you a very happy mm -hmm. birthday in Hamilton. I missed you, buddy, and I'll be uh, calling you later. Happy so, birthday. Well, thank yeah. you. Yeah. So what's new with you? Anything? No? Not a whole lot. I only get one word answers from you're, him. You're so only going to, yeah. I, yeah. I don't yeah. even know why. Freak Nothing it. changes in like one day. Well, yeah, what do you mean? Everything changes is, in uh, one day. It's saying more than a one word answer. It's kind <laughs> like, of I mean, I mean really, what has changed? Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw You need to get a life last night. What is there to do? <laughs> they want you to oh. stay home and not do anything. Yeah, and on top of that, what, what was the thing with the snow? You didn't say snow yesterday. I was right. I did say that we were going to get a trace. A few centimeters. That's more than a trace. That was more than a trace. But, but that's because we got a bit of lake effect. But that's nothing. The grass isn't even fully covered. We're still talking about green grass over here to my no, right. No, it, it'll <laughs> come on the weekend. I'm telling you, it'll melt. Ooh, what a teaser. Ooh. We've got some great stories today, too. Yes, we do. We yeah. have some pretty interesting ones. Yeah. Uh, especially one uh, concerning uh, a bridge and uh, someone going on an interesting bridge walk. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Uh, but before we get there, uh, Doug Ford, 1 o'clock, will be on with Colette coming yes, from Queens will. Park. <laughs> Christine <laughs> Elliott, the Minister of right. Health and Premier, <laughs> Deputy Premier will be there, as well as Rod Phillips, Minister of Finance, and Raymond Chow, who is the Minister for Seniors and Accessibility. So make sure you come back for that. Yes, please. Uh, what about our Prime Minister? Uh, well, his, his daily. <laughs> his daily isn't quite as daily as the word daily would infer. No, it's the um, He did show up to Quest Period yesterday, and then today he is um, doing a bunch of uh, meetings and stuff, but he will mm. also be speaking um, in the House of Commons this morning as well. Okay, well we'll give uh, him a pass for Thursday yeah. then, I guess. So he has a very—he actually has a very full schedule today, so we'll we'll give him a pass today. All right. Well, yesterday we had the opportunity to stream our, our MPP Ross Romano, mm -hmm. who we all love and adore here in the Sioux. I think he's a great MPP, and he had a, an awesome announcement, and it was very heartfelt. I felt when you, when we watched it, um, he's very proud to be from Sioux Saint Marie, and it was regarding Tenaris Algoma Tubes receiving that investment which is going to create a ton of full-time jobs and a ton of um, support for the city. The, um, the investment will lead to the creation of 153 new high-paying full-time jobs and enable the company to better support Canada's energy sector, which is fabulous being from Sault Ste. Marie. We have, what do we have, 75,000 people here? Yes, we do. Uh, roughly. That, yeah. um, so that brings a lot of attention to our beautiful city. Tenarius Algoma Tubes, they manufacture seamless oil, country tubular goods, and line pipe products for Canada's uh, onsho onshore and onshore oil. And natural gas sector. So funding for Tenaris all going to is being delivered through the Northern Ontario Fund Corporation. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Ross, for that amazing uh, yes. press release yesterday, and it was very well attended too, actually. Yeah, especially uh, that that amount of high-paying jobs in this town. It's I know, 153. Right? Yeah, it I mean, doesn't that's sound like awesome. a lot, but it's, it's it is not, for, but, yeah. considering they're high paying. His but, preamble yeah. before he went into his press release, and I'll quickly say this, is that he acknowledged that. He yeah. said, you know, the reason why he wanted to become the MPP and represent Sault Ste. Marie was because of that. He wanted to have a sustainable city mm -hmm. for people to come to and people who live here to stay here. Yeah. So way to go, Ross. Yeah, actually, for every uh, high paying job that's created, like a middle class job, it creates six other jobs in the community and the ripple effect from the money oh, circulating around. Yeah. So, you know, that's 150 you know, plus, plus, you know, right. at least in, you know, probably another 800 to 1,000 awesome. jobs also uh, is being uh, created with that. And that makes that a very significant investment in uh, Sioux St. Marie would consider the size. <laughs> right now, so. <laughs> My thumb's, thumb's getting up, better. Uh, that Ross, that right thumb's getting better. There. At least someone's <laughs> trying to grow the city. That's right. Um, COVID-19 <laughs> case Get number 61 international travel was announced last night. We don't have any details beyond that other than they were tested on December the 1st. Uh, and obviously uh, APH is asking you to continue to social distance, wear your mask, uh, shop online if you can this yeah. Christmas season. Uh, anything to uh, reduce your exposure out in the public. Yes. Like I said earlier, don't do anything. See, so you ask me every yeah. day. Like there's other things to do, Daniel. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Go for well, it. Well, 
Yes. And you are but out I'm, and about. He must I see something the interesting. I watched Christmas movie last night. I'm so. very oh. busy patrolling and keeping things time. safe in the city. Mm. Yes, you do. Well, then you see stuff. Then yes, you I do. have an opportunity to see things. And I got to see a lot of snow last then night. Christopher and I sitting at home watching Christmas movies. That's yeah. what I did last night, too. Yeah. Um, have you heard of the Drifter Shoots, guys? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as of about four minutes ago. Okay, as of four minutes. So <laughs> the Drifter Shoots. This person crazy person um, yeah okay i have an issue with bridges i've got i've got to move our monitor too okay once mike goes to there, we there go. i'm okonna okay. go move the monitor that's the drifter shoots and um there were posts yesterday from uh, uh from a man walk right here these are actual pictures that he posted on his yeah. Instagram sitting or, on right at the high point on the Mac. Oh, I don't know. Like, what wow, are you look doing? Anyway, colors. There. Um, after photos appeared on social media boasting of this daring bridge walk, the Michigan State Police are now investigating the case. <laughs> but apparently, like, I mean, now they're investigating. Okay, so what happened was back in November, these alarms were going off. They didn't know what was going on. Um, they would going out to look. They couldn't find the guy. How oh my goodness! Look at that! Oh, wow! Okay, ouch! Oh, That's. Well, I, oh I think I just had the butterflies. Whoa! So. Um, I'm this, feeling unstable sitting in my chair <laughs> As here. that quote says to you, this is not a harmless stunt. It, it's extremely reckless. He's putting himself in danger, clearly, as well as those beneath him. I mean, you fall, you're falling on top mm -hmm. of a vehicle. Like, yep. that could cause... Never mind the distraction. Like, Holy crap. There's yes. a guy on top of the bridge, right? Yes. Yeah. So people are driving by. But, um, like I said, these... They're actually quite beautiful photos, let's, you let's have to be honest. Give credit there, yeah. But um, yeah, then when they hit social media, NBA staff re reviewed the incident where the alarm, like I said, went off. They came out, they couldn't find the guy. Um, he is apparently an army vet who has actually done this before. The Ambassador Bridge was another one of his, uh, yeah, of his feet. <laughs> Using oh, his wow. feet. <laughs> Good one, Colette. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> local people, I love this part. Local police were called to investigate, but the person could not be located. Oh, maybe because he's because way up it was on the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. And I think my yeah. uh, when I was watching with Mike back back yeah. there before the show, it's, he said that he doesn't post them right away. So there, you know, yeah. he knows when they were taken. Right. So yeah. this happened in November. He, these yeah. are recent posts. But, but then again, too, with the alarms, uh, right? They couldn't find they couldn't him. Find <laughs> How just, do you not you just, find someone? It's a bridge, and then jump. there's like nothing around there. Like, <laughs> so I know. You can only go one way. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. Unless he dove off the bridge and. When scuba diving for an hour, how do you miss them? I don't know. I have fear of bridges, so even having that story was... Wow. Was oh. for, yeah, anyway, moving on. But that's a story yeah. not... How do you not talk about uh, that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, uh, the Civic Center. Surprise, surprise, costing more money. And not done yet. Oh. Uh, I, I know. Surprising, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it's not going to be finished for another six months or so. Um, there's $1.3 million in cost overruns at this point. I was talked about during what's called the consent agenda, which is simply where they talk about stuff and then they pass the whole thing. Um, no one actually asks any questions about it, and it just basically flows no through the consent. No one asks questions. No I just love that, eh? Yeah. They just they don't even question anything yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah, 1.3 million. Uh, counselors during the consent that? agenda talked about all kinds of stuff, such as Algoma University, sidewalks, uh, fire service bylaws, but nothing to add or say about the cost overruns. Holy it was just skimmed God. over at 1.3 million. Um, so we asked for comments from anybody who was on council, got none. Surprise. Um, <laughs> no one wanted to comment on Cricket. it. Yeah, they're trying uh, to let it this go is under like the a, This is a hot potato, obviously, oh. for City Hall. None yeah. of the councillors want to get involved in this, obviously, because mm -hmm. of the overrun. Well, someone has to. Yeah, someone has to, which is us. Um, the original bid was $6.9 million. <laughs> uh, now it's estimated cost $8.2, uh, which is only slightly less than the second highest bidder. Um, and the city points out that, yes, um, right. well, the second highest bidder is almost bankrupt. <laughs> Um, so they're glad they didn't go with that one. Well, maybe if that one had the contract, they wouldn't be almost bankrupt. <laughs> so that's not really a logical thing to say, but yeah. what the heck, it's city council. It's city council. Don't question yeah. it, Chris. I'm not, oh yeah, I'm not supposed to question city council, sorry. <laughs> like, you know, the, what I learned working with the city, uh, with KC Security, is they don't want you to do your job. They want you to nope. do nothing. They don't want to hear yeah. anything. They literally want the company to do the worst job, and that's what they pick. So we were doing our jobs, so that's why we got fired. Well, yeah. you, you, are. you know, and I, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed to say that because we do our job, right? Okay. So, but yeah. City Hall for you, like Chris says. I, I yeah, like yeah. one point three, like the, the overrun is like what, almost about twenty percent now. Yeah. And that's not crazy. a single comment. Ask questions, folks. Yeah. 
You know? Well, we need to move on a little bit, guys. We could discuss this all morning, yeah. and we should actually. But uh, lucky man they got that sidewalk talk in. <laughs> <laughs> and fix yeah. North Street with all those lines or Northern, whichever oh, it is. I can't. Yeah. The one by the people. Northern, yeah. um, man charged with impaired driving. Okay, we oh, yeah, have surprise. one of these every morning. Literally, so, we did the festive ride two days ago. I know, folks. right? We just literally. Said that. Okay. So, by the way, that blitz is on until January first. Um, so on December first, police arrested 30-year-old Jake Peliche with impaired driving, but this was a dude with drugs. So okay. they had reports reports of a guy uh, weaving in and out. Mm -hmm. They finally found the car, which was running on Pine Street, and he was sitting there with some foil and a lighter and doing his biz. And um, yeah, so they developed grounds to believe that there was something up at that point. Yeah. Wow. Uh, a subsequent search of the area found the accused to be in possession of what is to, uh, believed to be fentanyl. I don't understand why these people are going around <sighs> with fentanyl. Um, he's charged with impaired driving alcohol due to alcohol and drugs and will appear in court on January 11th, 2021. So happy new year to you, Jake Pell, Jake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Smarten up, Jake, please. All right, back to COVID. Uh, 1,723 new cases of COVID-19 yesterday, 35 new deaths. Now, uh, there's 664 residents in long-term care homes present COVID-19, and there were 22 of the 35 deaths yesterday. Obviously, most cases are in Peel, Toronto, and New York region. Mm -hmm. uh, as well, uh, there is now a reported 166 new COVID cases related to schools. At least 140 of those are among students. This means that we now have 742 schools in Ontario out of approximately 4,800 uh, that have COVID-19 cases. Yeeks. So. Weather, not commercial. But no, the, good news is, the good news is there is no COVID cases in our schools that we know. Of. Absolutely. Exactly. Good, 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 good. Okay, so, mister, it's not snowing today. It's, yeah, well, we can look at <laughs> really? the camera. There's, my car this morning? there's some white out there. Um, the roads are a little slick. Um, I really just, I hate looking at the negative with, with the city again. But, you know, they were out salting again last night, and yeah. it actually just made it worse. It was pulling the car all over the place. Oh. They either plow when there's, like, no snow, or they put salt <laughs> when there's too much snow, and it was almost to the point where you needed um, some kind of a snow plow in okay. some spots. But it really isn't too bad. Um, but do be careful driving and walking. It might be slippery, you know, if you come out your steps or from your back door. Just know that we have snow on the ground, so we will see a little bit more snow today. Um, but it is going to be wet snow, and look at that—the roads are already bare there on Bay yeah, Street. Yeah, that's true. So. You're right. Yeah. But I'll have all that coming up. Uh, our camera is brought to you by WirelessCom.ca. It's shaking a little bit in the wind too. It's going to be saw windy that. today. I'm like, oh my god, is that me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. So Thank God. I'll be right back after the break with all your weather details, including your regional temperatures and three-day forecasts. Stay tuned. Every three seconds, someone will develop Alzheimer's, a fatal disease that steals your memories and makes you forget the people you love most. Fortunately, there is hope. Today, researchers believe a cure is just a few years away. It's okay, Daddy, you can go. Just go. For just $9 a month, you can fund research for a cure and make history by ending this disease. 211, how can I help you? Hi, I'm really worried about my sister. She doesn't leave her house much. She doesn't even come to our family things. I barely see her smile anymore. Can you tell me a bit more about the situation? I think her husband might be... I, I don't know. Whenever he's around, she's nervous. Like, she doesn't want to make a mistake. Well, do you think that he might be hurting her? I think so. Okay. Let's figure out how we can help your sister.
Good morning and welcome back to First Local on your Thursday morning. We are live here and it's all laughs in the background. <laughs> oh God. Yes, Chris. let's take a look Chris at Facebook. Makes me laugh. Sorry. <laughs> if only we could show what goes on during yes. commercials. <laughs> yes. Good morning to Nicole, Dan Gray, Eve, Giselle. Uh, do we have anybody else on here that has liked the stream that maybe didn't comment? Uh, Steve, yes, Steve and Juliana as well. Oh, so good morning gosh. to you both. Thank you everybody for dropping by and saying hello and leaving us a comment. If you have a birthday or an anniversary shout out too, feel free to leave that in there and we will mention it on the show. So yes, you did wake up to a bit of snow, nothing like what Southern Ontario has, nothing what, not what Southern Ontario has seen. Uh, but we are seeing some cloud cover, of course, because it is still going to snow for the next few hours on and off. And it's moving its way east towards Sudbury. And of course, if you go up, if I just move a little bit, if you go up north, quite a bit of cloud cover there as well. So we will continue to see these flurries be a factor, at times very heavy too. So uh, the wind is still also a factor, but it won't be as bad as it was the last few days. So let's get into your temperatures. For the region today, you're looking at one degree in Thunder Bay, zero in Wawa, minus two in Timmins, three here in the Sioux, zeros in Elliott Lake and Sudbury. So once again, a pretty mild day. And we're looking at minus four overnight in Thunder Bay, minus five in Wawa, minus seven in Timmins, and then minus twos in Sault Ste. Marie, Elliott Lake, minus one in Sudbury. So not too cool of a night. It's going to be the snow out there is going to be slushy and wet most likely that we get today so we will see uh, it's currently one degree out there snow showers are on and off we're going to get up to three degrees flurries will be ending in the afternoon then it will become mainly cloudy uh, we can see another two to four centimeters winds are going to be northwest 20 kilometers an hour so it's going to feel like minus two with the wind and then overnight we're going to see a low of minus two cloudy 30 percent chance of a flurry late in the evening and after midnight uh, and then a couple of flurries beginning after midnight and then we will see winds northwest uh, pick up to 30 kilometers overnight as well and what we're looking at for the next three days as we start your weekend on friday we are looking at a few flurries in the morning that they will end then it will become cloudy we could see another trace of snow as well winds are going to be northwest 30 kilometers gusting to 50 we'll see a high of one and a low of minus six with cloudy periods overnight saturday it's mainly sunny minus one not much to report looking at minus seven overnight with a couple clouds and then on sunday mix of sun and cloud a high of zero and then we are looking at cloudy periods with a low of minus five no precip no precipitation expected on those two days so it should melt hopefully if the sun is out so we'll, we'll see if i'm right by monday but we will be right back after this with more local news stay tuned we'll be right back Ontario established a $100 million affordability fund to help Ontarians who don't qualify for low-income conservation programs ease the burden of their electricity bill. Whether you rent or own your home, as long as you pay your electric bill, you could qualify. There are three levels of support available. The first is a home energy kit with upgrades like smart power bars and LED light bulbs. The second includes Energy Star appliances that help keep things cool during the hot summer months. The third is for electrically heated homes so that your power bills don't break the bank during those long Canadian winters. Plus, all upgrades, including installation, are completely free of charge. Visit affordabilityfund.org or call 1-855-494-FUND to find out if you qualify.
Welcome back to First Local for this Baby Friday, Thursday, December 3rd. Put your highlighters down because apparently <laughs> people are just, just highlighting ferociously. Anyway, um, we'd like to thank Casey Security for their sponsorship. Of our highlighters. Of our highlighters. <laughs> it's Maybe even our colors, should, see? We should get mm -hmm. a highlighter. If yeah. you have highlighters, please call us if you can sponsor us. Um, Sue Online is your Sue Sports, your source for <laughs> Sue Sports. I love, I know. There is, a, there actually Come is on. a Sue, so yeah. Sue Source for Sports. I know there is. Yeah. There, there is. There. Go yeah. there to get your skate Free shout out for you yeah, guys. there you go. Spinner, there's for you. Okay, so, um, we're going to start with something a little bit different this morning, guys. Ooh. We do have some NFL updates. Like I said, Baltimore played Pittsburgh in an awesome Wednesday afternoon game at 3.30. But we're going to start with this awesome girl. Her name is Sarah Fuller. Um, she, last weekend, became the first woman to play in Power 5 football game when she delivered the second half kickoff against Missouri. On Monday, she was named the Team Player of the Week. So what they did is they had to bring in special, this is part of a special teams so when you come in to do kicks or um, okay. Okay, there's special teams uh, on football uh, squads. She was brought in to help with that because of some COVID related procedures where other players are, um, you know, either they're self quarantining or whatever. So they ran out of players. So right. they pulled this and uh, she's actually a- well, they put an ad up on like Craigslist? Kickers <laughs> needed? <laughs> <laughs> No, Christopher. Oh, okay. It's athletics, varsity sports. <laughs> Fuller is a senior who previously was a goalkeeper. I missed that one on LinkedIn. <laughs> on Vanderbilt's conference champion. She's a soccer player. That's the point of this conversation, mm. too. Oh, She's okay. an awesome soccer player. And, uh, of course, actually, just side note, I was the only uh, kicker, the only girl football no, player in touch football. The there was eight. also a separate story circulating about her and the amount of men that were trashing the fact that there was a female in the sport. And that is just Well, disgusting. I will hold that comment with, yeah. uh, for that because mm -hmm. swear words will ensue. Mm -hmm. uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers are still perfect. They're just like me. They played the Baltimore Ravens yesterday and Pittsburgh won 19-14. They're 11-0. Mm -hmm. oh, isn't that awesome? Okay. Wow. Yes, absolutely. And I have to do this quickly because I'm getting told to hurry up. But um, yeah, so there, <laughs> there's some highlights from yesterday's 3.30 game. And again, like we mentioned yesterday, that game was on because of a Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. American Thanksgiving Day yes. cancellation mm -hmm. uh, due to COVID again. First time there's a Wednesday game in eight years. Yes. Yep. Oh, Oh my goodness, I could wow. hug you right now. He must have looked I will hug that. you. I read the story. <laughs> okay, good, he bailed us out. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways. Uh, so, quickly, Bet Batman spoke yesterday for the first time since the Stanley Cup final. He's not well, like, still, poor dude. Oh um, he says NHL there. is not seeking to re renegotiate with players. Um, we'll have that story posted on our, our site today. Still no word on a start date, eh? January 1st is still the start date, the day they're going with. It's not going to be January 1st. I, I really no, don't I, think it will be, but no. we'll see. And just to let you know, the Michigan Wolverines confirmed that they are canceling the upcoming game against Maryland and suspending practice. So... Um, this was for this week. Uh, we were going to be following them to see what's going on for following weeks. And there are some Lakers sports coming up in December um, yes. this weekend that we need to get to that I can't get to at the moment, but we will get to that <laughs> tomorrow so that on the weekend you can follow all your Michigan sports and uh, Sue and Sue Thunderbirds. I haven't received a schedule update yet, so we'll have that for you. We will be re right back with Chris, Dan, and Colette after this commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, get dressed. <laughs> Honey, no, 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 no. <sighs> Almost there. Lift your leg. Yeah. Aiden, get <laughs> dressed. For someone with MS, living in a body that doesn't listen to you some days, get dressed, can be an act of greatness. Canada United is a movement to show local businesses some love. Right now, they could use our support more than ever. So we're asking Canadians to buy local and spread the word. And every time you watch our videos or like our posts, we'll contribute five cents to small business relief, starting with this video. So keep watching and tell your friends, because buying local can make a big impact. And small actions can too. Canada United, together we can make a difference. At Maitland Ford Lincoln, we see our trucks everywhere. We see them on Queen Street, Lake Street, North Street, Bay Street, Second Line, Third Line, Fourth Line, Pine Street, Great Northern People's Road, Wellington, Cora Road, Bruce Street, Carmen's Way, Northern Ave, Trunk Road. Folks come from all over Algoma District and beyond to buy their truck at Maitland Ford Lincoln. Amazing prices, outstanding service. 
King Street, Shannon Road, Drilly Bay, Black Road, Everman Road, and even on Pine Shores. Yep, our trucks are everywhere. Get yours at Maitland Ford Lincoln, built for Northern Life, on Great Northern Road, just north of the hospital. When it comes to peace of mind, think KC Security Services, a locally owned and operated security service. Voted the best security company in Sault Ste. Marie. We specialize in mobile patrols and alarm responses. At KC Security, we also offer stationary guard services for commercial and residential properties, events, and more. Available 24 hours per day, 365 days a year. KC Security Services, where peace of mind is a matter of choice, your one-stop shop for all your security needs. Good morning and welcome back on your Thursday morning to First Local. We're at 826 live here and we're going to get into your seven day weather. Uh, just going to go over the sunrise and sunset quickly because we are approaching the shortest day of the year. Our sunrise is 803 Eastern Time and sunset is uh, 451 Eastern Time. I was going to say 1651 because I'm so used to the 24 hour clock. All right, so let's look at what's going on. There's a lot of sun on the board there. Saturday, we're gonna see mainly sunny. Uh, mix of sun and cloud until well into next week, up to two degrees by Tuesday. And then we will see sun on Thursday with three degrees. Uh, after that is when the snow is supposed to hit on the weekend. Next week, we might get 10 to 20 centimeters, so we'll can you monitor that uh, overnight lows are going to stay chilly as well until they warm up a little bit by midweek to zero and one degree all right here's a photo from judy rosewell from oh. corner brook newfoundland and labrador say, that's newfoundland yes I've it is and this is this I, is from yes. where nathan's from i mean he's not from corner brook but he's yeah. from newfoundland okay and uh so thank you judy we got viewers i don't know if she's originally from here because rosewell of course is a common name we had our mayor rosewell before okay. i don't know if there's a relation i'm just yeah. saying that so she may be from here and living in newfoundland but beautiful photo oh, of wow, the colors yeah. look at that sky on tv weather at gmail.com is where you can send your uh weather pics or videos and uh Looking for some more here. Um, all the holiday pics are coming in because it's the holiday time. So we or still want like, your weather photos. Or Send they just them like in. Chris better than you, Dan. Yeah. I don't know. Probably. Otherwise, I'm just going to just let Chris use the holiday pic when I don't have weather. <laughs> Unless you the I facial got hair. seven different holiday pics yesterday see? alone. <laughs> seven. Like over a week. If I get seven in one day, well, geez. Yeah. <laughs> I get three in one day once. Oh, boys, boys, everybody. Yeah. Come on. Whatever. Let's see the holiday pics. Then. Speaking of holiday pics, yeah. here we go. Today's pick is from Canyon <laughs> Naden. Here we go. Oh, it's a Chris. Tree. Thank you very much for sending that in to us. If you want to send us your Christmas photo, please send it to ontvcontest at gmail.com, ontvcontest at gmail.com. So nice. make sure you send that in to us and uh, we will get it up on the air. We might have to start doubling up as we get closer to Christmas. You're just uh, rubbing it in now, aren't you? We might you? have to do multiple <laughs> holiday picks because I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm and, Well, actually, that's why I said yeah. I'll just use the weather on the days I don't yeah. have a photo. And not to rub it in, I got cool. seven yesterday and I already got two today. Oh. It, 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 and it's not even eight. Enjoy it because once the holidays yes. are done. Yeah, we got a couple uh, just looking just quickly answers, mention yeah. something at the Water Tower Inn brought to you by the Sioux Theater. It's on the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Uh, it is a dinner and a reading of the Christmas tree book written by That's Norm nice. Foster. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to come out and see that, you can. Just go to SueTheater.com and you can get your tickets there. Uh, you can also get them at the Water Tower Inn's reception desk oh, as well. I think well. I'm going to do so, that. That's good. Nice uh, you get a dinner. Yeah. Uh, or you can just go to the show only, but obviously if you sure. purchase a dinner, uh, those tickets are going before just the show only. So. Cool. Mm -hmm. Can I just quickly write, I've got this really cool announcement about Lego. We have to talk yes. about it. Mm -hmm. So to help combat the blues in these trying times, we've got a local business, Twin Sue Bricks, um, who's introducing this first annual Brick Space Secret Santa, a contest where you can nominate a deserving child to win a Lego minifigure. The Brick Space will then choose not one, but five lucky winners. And awesome. the winner, they're going to create a little Lego man that looks like your child. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Make Sorry. sure you check out the Ghoulie 5050 raffle. <laughs> also the Festival of Trees raffle at festival.ca as well, the Lung Health Foundation fundraiser. We'll see you back here at one o'clock. Good job, Chris. Have, Have a good morning. morning. See you at one.